Yeah, hey, y'all. So we're at mom's house today and just getting some 2x4s prepped to make walls the next time I'm out there. And so I bought 22x4s, 8 footers, and I just need to cut them down a little bit and to 87 and 3 quarters for the walls I have currently on the house. And this here is one of the original uh, studs from the walls and you can you know you've always noticed um, these notches that are cut into them and mainly they're there for uh, aluminum sided and vinyl sided uh, or probably more aluminum vinyl I think has the uh, OSB uh, backer so it, it lends some stability when all those OSB sheets are uh, nailed to the uh, wall studs but on the aluminum since it's kind of a flimsy material they are uh, screwed to the uh, 2x4s but it's just doesn't create enough stability especially when you're towing that thing down the road so what they do is put in uh, like little 1x2s uh, in a couple spots although this notch here oh, this is the top one so yeah you put a 1x2 there a 1x2 there I don't know why this stock one is so big because you still just put a 1x2 in here and then there's just space but this bottom one is um, notched out for electrical wires uh, to run through so anyway and so when you get those two by you know one by twos you know going along the wall they're nailed in and when you tie them all together it just gives lateral stability uh, to uh, the wall so that you know the aluminum doesn't have to worry about holding everything together so anyway i am replacing it with uh t111 style uh, siding i was going to do uh, board and batten cedar which is actually what the, is under this tarp here uh, but if I go that route I have to get an engineered stamp in my state and county so uh, we're gonna use those beautiful pieces of cedar in there for other projects down the road um, so anyway I'm just gonna get rough sawn uh, plywood to do the siding and then actually use the battens uh, from the board and batten that I got so it looks like board and batten but if I do structural um, plywood T111 type, they don't make me get a uh, engineering stamp. So got to do what I got to do to save some money. So anyway, so I probably don't have to put these little notches in and put the one by twos to put that, you know, those boards up because that's really going to strengthen the structure. So, but they're there, and um, you know, I might as well just you know do what. The original intent of the home was actually I talked to my county or state engineer uh, guy a permit guy and he was like yeah keep those there so since he knows they're there and he's gonna be coming out of my house at some point uh, I might as well just put them in there he'll probably forget by the time he does come out because it, it'll probably be you know six eight months before he even bothers so and I'm sure he's busy otherwise so anyway but we'll just do it since it is what it is so what I'm doing is just taking this old uh, two by four measuring up the new ones cutting them to shape and then measuring out the notches and running my uh, skill saw or circular saw through them and then I'll punch them out with a uh, hammer and uh, chisel and to give them that U shape so we'll show you how that's done
Anyway, so that's it. That's the uh, finished one there. You know, the grooves aren't so pretty, but they'll work. So just gotta finish all these 20 up. I think I have 20 or so already finished, so I can do the front uh, third of the house uh, walls with all those, and then we'll just make more. Anyway, thanks for checking it out. So I was just showing you a, a minute ago about this trailer here with this tarp and how it's all the uh, bunch of cedar uh, board and batten that I got. Um, just wanted to show you a piece of it and this is basically what it is. I'd say it's uh, technically a one inch by 12 inch wide but you know it's probably three quarters by like 11 10 and a half inch wide or so uh, actual but yeah, I was on the house uh, that was just down the road here from my mom's and there the city condemned or not condemned it, but uh, eminent domained it to build a road. And I felt bad for the owners because they kind of got gypped out of the deal because they had a nice five acre homestead there, but not to be anymore. Um, anyway, so they were selling parts of the house and I got the board and battens uh, siding. Um, and the paint's still good on it. it. Looks like it previously just had one coat of a darker uh, wood stain on it. And so, you know, it hasn't been used too much. And none of them, or very few of them had rot at the bottom. You can see that there's some you know, water staining, obviously. And, you know, a little flaking here. Actually, that's probably just from banging it around, but still really solid. And it's just beautiful wood and, you know, minimal knots. I mean, you have some, obviously, but this is definitely old growth because anything milled these days would have a lot more knots in it in general. But um, yeah, this side was really nice. And what I planned on doing was actually uh, sanding down this side and then staining it a wood color instead of, you know, going with, you know, the stock paint. Although who knows, maybe at the, all the labor that I would have taken to get this up here, I probably maybe would have just painted it because I did that on the tiny house that I made, I took um, some cedar siding off a house that was being demolished in uh, Bellevue, Washington. And it was a beautiful house, but that's a, uh, you know, upper end uh, city in the state. So the city was like, well, if you're gonna do a major remodel, you gotta just start over, which blew me away because the house was really nice. But anyway, that's a different subject. But um, anyway, I took the siding off of that house and it was the bevel siding and I flipped it over and sanded the backside so that I could stain it. And yeah, that was very labor intensive. So, and that was on a tiny house. This house, you know, my single wide isn't all that big compared to, you know, most stick built houses, although it is just about a thousand square feet. So not too small either, but the tiny house was, you know, eight by 32. So less than half of what I got here. So anyway, it's kind of moot because like I said, I have to uh, go with uh, plywood siding. But I thought I'd just give you a look at this stuff. and Someday I'll make use of it because I do have a lot of it.